hosting imagery and image analysis are critical to the work of many organizations. ArcGIS Image for ArcGIS Online provides hosted imagery capabilities in addition to advanced RAST analytics and visualization in the cloud. Last year, approximately 10,000 fires burnt 4.3 million acres of land in California. Now, to better understand burn severity and impacts of burn severity, I'm going to perform an analysis over the area of Santa Rosa. To do this analysis, I'm going to use a collection of 10 satellite scenes. And these scenes, they currently reside on my local machine. Now, let me show you how easy it is to host these images on online. First, you can create your imagery layer. This could be a static tile imagery layer, or it could be a dynamic imagery layer. This supports dynamic mosaicing and server-side on-the-fly processing. You specify a layer configuration, specify your raster type. In this case, it would be Sentinel-2. You can provide additional processing templates and parameters. And then all you got to do is drag in your images and relevant metadata, provide a title, tags, and you can create your imagery layer. This is now going to be a hosted imagery layer. Now, in the interest of time, I pre-created my imagery layer which can be used directly for analysis. So here's our Sentinel service. And this is our region of interest. Now, we can continue our analysis by applying a raster function. We can fire up the raster function editor. The raster function editor gives you access to more than 150 different raster functions. These can be chained together to create custom workflows like this one which is used to evaluate burn severity. Now you can tweak your parameters and run your analysis. I've pre-processed approximately 3,000 square miles worth of data. Everything, or, everything in orange depicts high burn severity regions. Next, I also want to find out the number of buildings that are within the path of the fires. Given that I don't have pre-mapped building footprints, I could use the new deep learning tools within ArcGIS Online to extract my building footprints. For this, I use high resolution imagery that's provided by Airbus. And I can pick from a library of deep learning models that are provided to me directly through the Living Atlas. We provide you with models to perform tree point classification, land cover classification, road extraction, and more specifically in this case, building footprint extraction. Let's look at the results. The model has extracted more than 25,000 building footprints, out of which it's been determined about 1,500 buildings are found to be in the path of the fire. So that was just one example where we show you how you can host large collections of imagery and dynamically mosaic and perform large-scale RAST analytics using ArcGIS image. Next, we're excited to see the kinds of problems that you can tackle using these new capabilities. With that, I'll hand it over to Hong Su, who's going to be talking a little bit about our new change detection capabilities that we've introduced in ArcGIS.